When visiting a dementia unit, it really doesn't help going in nervously and wondering whether mum will recognise me and going up to her and saying, hi mum, it's me. And the problem with that is that your mother will be hearing up to 15, 20 times a day, hi mum, it's me, with all the other men and sons visiting their mother in the TV lounge. She won't recognise that it's you if she can't see you. If all she can see is your belt with you standing and her sitting, she won't recognise you, you when you say, hi, mum, it's me. So the best thing is to bend down and establish eye contact and say, hi, mum, it's Mark, your son, I've come to visit you. And then, oh, Mark, it's so wonderful to see you. I'm so happy you've come. You've established eye contact, you've told her your name, and she has everything that she needs to know to have a happy visit with you. And it establishes things off on a positive note. And that's important because if you challenge your mother, I mean, unconsciously, but if you challenge your mother saying, mum, do you remember me? And if she hasn't seen you, especially for a long time, and she doesn't, recognize you or doesn't she recognizes you but doesn't know your name that can really put her on the back foot you know she can freeze up easily with that confidence can go and for the rest of the visit what could be a lovely visit she's on edge she's nervous she's upset that she hasn't been able to recognize you so rather if you establish the eye contact say your name that you've come to visit hi mum, it's Mark, I'm here to be with you for half an hour, then she knows the time frame, who you are, and she can be happy with that and have a lovely visit with you and relax. Relaxing and being comfortable is a really important aspect, actually, because when we relax, then the tension goes. And when the tension goes, we're more likely to have cognition and even maybe remember at times. I mean, our cognition is so much better when we're relaxed and confident. When we lose our confidence and we're stressed and uptight, even those of us that haven't got dementia forget things. So it's just important to be able to establish the whole visit in a way that your mother's happy and comfortable and confident, and then to do something that she's interested in and that she enjoys. And in that way, you can have a really nice time with her. Now, in terms of being able to recognise recognize you, it's also important to be able to have photographs in the bedroom, for example, of the family, including you, with the name underneath each child in big letters. So you can go into your mother's room and say, Mum, uh, here's the photo of the family. Oh, yes, dear, I, I do enjoy looking at that picture. OK, so here I am. Mark, when I was young, and the other siblings go through their names and let your mother spell it out, speak it out. And then as she's looking at the picture of the family on the wall, then you can update her on each child and what they're doing. So she's got that reference point of the child who she'll remember, past memory being more intact than present memory, so even though the photo on the wall is of the children, she'll connect with the children and their name and you giving them an update as to what they're doing in their lives now. It's a really good way of going about it. Similarly, a photograph album, having a photograph album at hand that maybe she's got stored in her wardrobe up high so the wanderers don't come and get it or, you know, flick through it and wreck some of the photos in a safe place. Get the photo album and go through the photos uh, of you as you were a child and the summer holidays and all the wonderful things you did and hopefully have it's my, uh, hopefully they're bigger photos it's clearer that your mother's got prescription glasses so she can read the photos and any headings or labels underneath are always a great help and indeed any of these favorite photos it's quite nice to be able to blow some up and put them on the wall as posters. So rather than just having a cottage garden photo, cottage garden picture of a you know house and lovely flowers, lovely as it is, if you can blow up 
some of the favorite photos that your mother likes, just go through the photograph album. Say, oh, mum, which photos do you like here? And she might say, oh, you know, you playing with the sandcastles at Sumner. I always remember that beach in Sumner. We had lovely holidays there with the children. And if I, you know, you can, oh, well, mum, I can blow up a picture of us making sandcastles at Sumner at the beach. Oh, that'll be lovely, dear. And uh, she's got that beautiful picture to look at and enjoy. How lovely is that in her own room? And you can pick out two or three other pictures of around the Christmas tree. <laughs> if your mother always used to make a go to a lot of trouble with the Christmas tree, there's no doubt photos of the Christmas tree with the children unwrapping presents on Christmas Day. So, you know, if your mother would be very happy to have a big picture like that with all the children around on Christmas Day. And in big letters, put the names of the children underneath um, underneath each of the children, put their names in big letters, and then she can connect with that and refer to that. She can be reminded of it. It's a lovely memory. And when carers come in and uh, nurses and the cleaners and the laundry girls, they can all discuss it with her, and that will continue to reactivate those past memories and cognition. So it's a lovely positive experience for her. Just getting those few lovely posters, it's a bit of effort to start with, but getting them blown up and the names underneath and then she's got a lovely vista on her wall to activate her memories so she can have recognition of her relatives when they come in and also you know, refer to them in her memory bank and activate that as much as she can. So it's very important to be able to activate these memories. I mean, sometimes carers do help a lot. Uh, if you've come from overseas and you haven't seen your mother for a while and you're concerned about the recognition factor, understandably, uh, carers are sensitive about this when sons or daughters from overseas are coming. They often know they're coming and the time they're coming. If they've got a short schedule, they inform staff of this when they're arriving so that the mother's not having shower or you know, involved in something else and that they're free. So if the carer goes to the trouble to introduce your mother to you, that's a great help because she can say, look, um, say your mother's name's Margaret. Look, Margaret, your son Mark has come to see you. Now, the thing is she will recognise, your mother will recognise her main carer. So if the main carer introduces you, she's got that link of recognition. And it's a great help if carers can do that because they're recognised as your mother sees them every day, but they well, may well not recognise you the son if they haven't seen you for a year. So if the carer makes that introduction, you know, you've been, oh, look, Margaret, you've been looking forward to Mark coming for such a long time. Now he's arrived here. It's a beautiful link and nervousness and anxiousness and everything else is wiped out when you have a nice, positive, caring, insightful introduction from a carer. So I've written these two books, The Residence Voice and The Residence Rise, both from a dementia unit. So um, on Amazon, soft copy, hard copy, and ebook, and on my website, pietervalentine.com. So you can get them there, and thank you for your looks and your likes and your interest, and please subscribe and pass on the links. Thank you.